you start doing any kind of colour Doppler, you need to make sure that your B mode image is optimal. So you need to ensure that your depth is, is correct, that you have the right frequency, and that your focal points are positioned where they need to be. That's because once you push the colour Doppler button, your colour Doppler box appears. But now your gain and your frequency are about the colour Doppler box, not your B mode image. So, initially what you want to do is change the size and shape of your colour Doppler box to echo what you want to look at. You can see at the bottom of the screen there are two little boxes and at the moment the box with the dotty box inside is highlighted. This means that you can use your roller ball to move your colour Doppler box around your image. If you hit your set key you will now see that the highlighted blue box is actually has like little arrows coming out of it and that means that it's happy now for you to use your roller ball either scrolling up and down to increase the height of the box or right to left to choose the width of your box. Now with colour Doppler imaging you want that box to be big enough to look at the area that you're of interest but not too big because it's really going to affect your frame rate which will affect how jerky your image is. So I'm going to kind of look in at one of my vessels on one of my neck. So I'm going to reduce down the box size and then once I'm happy with the size of the box I'm going to hit set and again this now allows me to scroll over my region of interest. Now as I said before now my gain control is the gain for the colour. And what I want is for the gain to be high enough to visualise the flow, but not so high that I'm getting extra kind of artefact speckles outside my region of interest. And I do this by just turning the dial up and down and looking for when those excess speckles have stopped. I can then change the scale as appropriate by using by hitting the cursor button then going to the drop down screen on the left hand side going to scale and using set to increase the speeds and back to decrease the speeds I can then change my wall filter packet size line density as required once I'm happy with the image I can either freeze for a still and save and just as with the B-mode images, I could hit save 2 to save a video loop of the colour Doppler imaging I've just done.